Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play series. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. I'm doing fantastic. Guys, you were totally right. The farm is bogged down by witches. I've cleared them out four or five times since I went AFK yesterday. Man. But before we get into what we're doing in today's episode, we are going to do our question of the day. And I know there's been a lot of speculation about what's going on with Hermitcraft, and I'm curious. When the new season starts, do you think that Hermitcraft should add new members? And if so, who do you think we should add? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. So I have been AFK at this farm for about three hours. I moved some of the drops downstairs, about two chests worth. So let's go check out and see what we got. I have a feeling that the witches may have blocked some of the spawns. So we probably didn't get maximum effect, but... Whew, look at all that good stuff. Oh my God, there's so many goodies. Wow, so much gunpowder and bone and string. Wow, wow. Ah, that is amazing, that is fantastic. So we ended up with about 10 double chests, 10 and a half, about 10 and a half double chests full of goodies. Now I did fail because I forgot to set up the sugarcane farm. So I will have to collect some sugarcane farm before we get going today. Uh, one other thing that I want to do really quickly is I want to check out our uh, villager breeding area because I want to see how well they bred while I was AFK. I'm guessing that they, they probably are out of food. Yeah, oh wow, there's quite a few villagers here. Now we need to breed around a hundred villagers for the plan that I wanna do. So there's, the, I mean, I guess they're breeding, but we definitely need to get more food in the pen for them. So I'm gonna collect some sugarcane. And the first thing that we're doing today is heading off to the nether. Now that I can fly, I should be able to find myself a much better fortress. I'm looking for a fortress in a soul sand valley because it'll just be a hundred times easier to get wither skeleton skulls. And I don't wanna make a farm for that yet. I need an easy way to get them. So I'm gonna collect sugarcane and then I'm heading off to the nether. All right, I am back from the nether. I found a lot of stuff. Now that nether footage is very long, so I think I'm gonna upload it as our unlisted video for today. So check the link in the description for that. I found so much stuff and I also died while I was at the fortress getting wither skeleton skulls. I'll show you the death and the recovery right now. So some context here. I had just landed from flying and what happened was is I didn't realize there was so many mobs here. I got really overran really fast. So for some reason, I decided to just keep moving forward after taking damage, which was a huge mistake on my part. I turned the corner and I immediately am like, uh oh, this is not good. So I die and then I ended up just traveling to the overworld because the nether portal in the nether was so far away. So I hop in here and I'm like, all right, gotta, gotta play this cool and then we're gonna get our stuff back. So portal in instantly land in the fortress thank god for the nether coordinates and having the overworld coordinates and my guy had got the elytra on so i uh i rushed this blaze because obviously they're shooting fireballs and i've got a million wither skeletons after me do a little bit of uh finesse work here i would i thought i was gonna die right here to be honest with you and then i'm like wait a second i can just jump down and then um, inventory's full. So I basically decided to just clear everything, put a chest down, block the mobs off so I don't get even more dead. Yeah, so it was a very sketchy moment here. I am uh, i don't think I actually lost anything though, which was the really awesome part. So um, got all my stuff back. And what was really funny about the entire situation is that during some time in this whole skirmish of killing the wither skeletons before when i died and then killing them in this clip i got my third skull because when i died i only had two but when i picked the rest of them up i had three now i could probably watch the like two hour long footage back and see where exactly it dropped but i'm not doing that but for real like very lucky i got my stuff back so thank goodness for that so now that you guys have seen that death and recovery, I am working on getting chickens together. Now I'm gonna leave these guys here. I'm more or less interested in their eggs. The game plan here is to get as many chicken eggs as possible. And when we go to the end to fight the wither, 
I'm gonna spawn him in under the portal and then get a bunch of eggs and hopefully get a bunch of chickens bred there. When the wither explodes, we will have instant wither roses that won't get destroyed and will kill the wither and it's gonna be awesome. But before I can do that, oh, perfect. <laughs> before I can do that, I need to get as many eggs as possible. So I'm also gonna look around for more chickens, I think. So I am in the end and I just dug out underneath of the portal because we are about to kill a whole bunch of chickens, pretty much chicken genocide, I'd say. So first thing you gotta do if you wanna make this work properly is you gotta damage your chicken. So I brewed potions of poison. These are splash potions and I'm just gonna throw all three of them once I have all of my chickens spawned. So I bred my chickens up for quite a while actually. And from there, I uh, went AFK, it was a couple hours, and I think I've got roughly four or five shulker boxes full of chicken eggs. So I'm trying to find a spot where it'll be good to throw them, because obviously they can, they can kind of jump over this. So maybe I'll just like hang back or something and then try to hit the back wall. So in terms of eggs, let's see, this one's done. Let me place that down. There we go. So the game plan here is very simple. We throw all the eggs, get as many chickens as we possibly can, poison them, and then once they are poisoned, it's, you know, just spawn the wither and we should get a whole lot of wither roses. Whew. All of the eggs have been thrown. Oh my God, that took forever. Let's do items times used. So we're currently at, where'd it go? I just saw it. We're currently at 1,833 eggs done. So before I summon the wither, I'm going to get an ender pearl and then throw these potions. I probably should have threw the potion already. There we go. So kill that guy. We've got our ender pearls. I need to get ender pearls because flying out of this pen is gonna be pretty tough. So potion time. I'm gonna throw, I think I'm just gonna throw all three of them to be honest with you. And I naturally would poison my own self. Poison is just about finished. It should be finishing up inside in just a few seconds. It's almost time. I have a feeling that it's gonna be pretty hard to get the chickens out of the way. I don't know if I have any seeds or not. Let's check. Oh, no seeds. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think we're probably good to go. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare trying to get these placed. I didn't think of that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if this is, oh, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. Oh, come on, come on. Get out of the way, chickens. There, where did the other one go? Uh, hold on. I, I might need to re-log. Where, where'd it go? Hold on, we're gonna relog. We're gonna relog. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Is it in my inventory? Okay, it's in my inventory. Let's see, let's hurry. Okay, is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Get out of the way, chickens. Okay, we got this. Oh, okay, let's get the heck out of Dodge. Okay, hopefully this works. Be with her, kill him. Mass chicken murder. Okay, didn't kill them all. everybody so let's see how many wither roses we got from that um first off let me eat some food oh oh so good so good oh man we ended up with three stacks and five ah uh, the only thing i wish i would have done right there is i wish that i would have oh look, look at all the chickens oh, that worked out pretty well though i would say i think next time i might make the area bigger make it a little bit better. Probably should spread the potions out a little bit more too, but now we have everything we need to redo the farm. 
but now that we're in the end we're actually starting a new project here we're gonna make an xp farm today as one of our projects but we're doing another project with the villagers too the xp farm is so that we can switch the wither roses that we just got in the farm to make that an afk farm so we just have material and like mob drops so i am going to do uh, a tutorial for the spawner so we are back in the end i went and got some supplies in the overworld i've got a bunch of cobblestone and some just random items that i'm going to need to build this so to get started with the tutorial the first thing that i need to do is i need to get down to the lowest level in the world possible so to do this i'm going to pour a bucket of water and then I'm going to make sure that I have rockets on my bar because you never know what can happen. Jump in your water stream and then just literally build down to the bedrock or to the to the world limit. Now, so now that I am at the lowest point in the world, basically level two, it's important to go to the bottom of the world because the lower that you go, the better the mobs will spawn. So I'm going to make this really simple. I've got two stacks of blocks in my inventory. That's 128 blocks. And I'm just going to bridge out. As you bridge out, make sure that you put torches down so Endermen don't spawn on your platform. Now that you have your platform 128 blocks away, at the end of the platform, make 11 by 11. Make sure that you place something down so you kind of know where the end of it is. I'll be using this torch, so I'm just going to go 11 and make a big square. So I'm gonna make it to where my Enderman can fall into a two by three hole. So I'm gonna mark a center point and then I'm gonna dig that space out. Inside of that space, I'm going to put trap doors. Now you can automate this with redstone if you like, but for the simplicity of it, you can simply just put trap doors and manually operate them just like so. Now, one thing you need to know about Enderman is that to get a one hit kill with your fist, it needs about a 42 block drop, but there's some ways you can cheese that. Obviously you can use strength potions, beacons, and a strong sword. But the one thing you gotta keep in mind is that you wanna try to keep that spawn platform as low as possible. So I'm gonna be making mine 36. Now, I don't know if I've ever used 36 as a height before, but all I'm gonna do is go up from level two, go up 36 blocks. So we're gonna go up to level 38, pretty straightforward. Now you will want to block this in. And so to do so, I would suggest doing too tall with a slab on the bottom side here, just like so. So let me do that. So that's a fence. Yep, I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. There we go. So slab there, just like that. So you can duck under that and kill the Enderman. Do that on all sides and then block all the way up to level 38. So now that I'm up on level 38, I've bridged out on each side. Now it's gonna be different depending on what your fall hole is. So with mine being two by three, I needed to go out 12 on one side and 11 on the other. That makes my entire platform 27 by 27, which is the size you need it to be. So now I just need to fill this in. And as I'm filling it in, I will be using torches to make sure that Endermen do not spawn. This will make your life easier when you're going to place the Endermite. So over your fall platform, make a platform three blocks above it. Run some rails and get a minecart. So this is where we got to get the Endermite. It's kind of annoying. Hopefully we can get it pretty quickly. I think I've got some pearls. There we go. Nearly died trying to get those darn pearls, by the way. Uh, the other thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to have a name tag ready and an anvil. I had to go back to the overworld twice because I forgot this. So I'm smart. I literally went to the base, got stuff, went to get this and forgot it and had to go all the way back. So that was awesome. I had a, I had a fun time with that. Anyways, so now we just got to get lucky. Oh, that was really easy. Oh, my God. That took less than like two, tr like th what? Three tries. Oh, my God. All right, so we have named the Endermite. He is now in the carts. have the Endermite. We want to remove the rail and try to get him sort of in the center of this fall platform. There we go. Or just, you know, get knocked totally off the edge. It's fine too. That works as well. <laughs> there we go. That should be perfect. So now we need to make sure that he is going to be safe. Very easy way to do this. Just make some walls and put those walls around him and above him. 
pretty simple stuff i'm seriously just gonna do above it should be fine i'm not too worried about it so just right there so the final thing that we need to do here to make our setup pretty much done make some trap doors and put them on the edge over here so i'm gonna get rid of all of this there we go and then put our trap doors down gotta we gotta you know we gotta fool the ender bros come on and oh two more there we go so very straightforward farm in total time even messing up and going back to the overworld multiple times it took me 45 minutes to build you should be able to build it fast too go grab all this so finally last thing we got to do is just start removing the these guys the torches so it looks very bright for me because i have my gamma up because i make videos yours will look a little bit different don't worry it'll be fine so let's just get rid of all these and then here in a moment we should start to see enderman spawn just gotta get rid of all the light there we go and we may uh end up needing to fly away as well there we go all right simple as that they're just gonna move right in they may get hung up on the one side it looks like but for the most part it should be fine this is a very quick and dirty tutorial uh it's not gonna be perfect so you know <laughs> anyways so let's uh head downstairs grab that let's head downstairs real fast now before we can really do anything or really have any sort of effect on this farm we need to get the beacon set up and the very last part of this tutorial is to place carpet down so, so this thing is roughed in. There's a lot of work that we need to do with it, but really I just needed XP. I was running low pretty well. I died a couple times, not here, but you know, it's kind of funny. I built this entire thing and didn't die to anything in the world here. I actually died trying to get the beacon back. I jumped down the hole thinking Minecraft, just, you know, jump down the hole, land, get your beacon back. Kind of forgot that the world had like negative 46 and jumped from like 64 down to negative 46. Yeah, I splatted. <laughs> so needed XP. I will clean this up and make it look better in the future. But for now, functionality is more important to me than that. So let's get some XP. Oh, love it. Love it. All right. So we can open these up anytime we want to get rid of anything, but you know for the most part it's a one hit kill we've got the beacon set up we've got enchanting set up this thing is very functional it works very well you'll have a good time getting all the xps you could ever imagine we're already getting repaired up ah i love it man look at it it's beautiful it's so good let's do a quick f5 oh yeah that's the good stuff right there <laughs> anyways we are now over at the mob spawner I've got this thing turned off from the switch up top so the platforms are flooded. We're gonna go ahead and convert this thing over to wither roses now. Thank goodness for that because those darn campfires were just so, so loud, oh my God. So let's get these all planted up. Now I've actually given this a lot of thought and initially I was considering not doing filtered storage but I think I am gonna test it at least. I have some concerns with this being single player and this world being the way that it is i get a lot of drops and i feel like if i'm too afk too afk too long being afk that it may get overflowed some there's a little bit of concern there so i'm not sure how i'm gonna handle it i think i honestly oh you know what i have a great idea the only items that i truly care to filter are gunpowder maybe gunpowder and bones because those are kind of the two most important to me and if we go down here and check the rest of the stuff is this pretty normal stuff it's like string and all the other normal mob drops so what i think i might do is make a hybrid storage system i've got a bunch of nether racks that i can use for filler blocks for the filters so i'm thinking on one side i will maybe do so sorting storage storage for gunpowder and bone and then on the other side i might just let it freely collect because that'll be kind of like the junk bin almost but the gunpowder is really the most important thing here so i think i'm gonna hop into a time lapse and i hope you guys enjoy the little bit of uh work that i get done
man i hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse everything is set up and ready to go down here i'm just kind of getting everything organized at this point looking for my food as well so uh as mentioned i set up sort of a dual storage system on the one side we've got four uh three tall double chests all the way down and it is filled about a uh, double chest and a half of gunpowder so all, all four of those and then these are bones there we go the spawner is running right now so we should see Ugh. i wonder if the hopper is backfilling interesting I should be seeing bones go in there, and that makes me a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, you know what looks fine. Everything is cool. We're just, I'm gonna watch it. I'm, I'm assuming that the hoppers are backfilling because there's no other place for bones to go. So anyways, on this side, we've got things like string, arrows, rotten flesh, and there's lots and lots of that stuff. The spawner is actually really good, man. For a single player spawner, I'm uh, I'm pretty proud of this thing. I know we've uh, we've done a lot of technical Minecraft in the last few days. I guess I had to get my fill. Um, make sure, I was like, is this not, a oh my God, it's not in the center. <gasps> no, oh my goodness. Don't, don't look, hide your eyes. Anyways, I think that's probably gonna do it for today's episode guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you subscribe Otherwise, this is I Jevin. Peace out everybody